What's good everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something that we haven't done on the channel in a very, very long time. We will be doing an NBA 2K20 experiment. Now I haven't done a what if or an experiment in a very, very long time since I pretty much first started my channel. I did them back in uh, 2K16 and 2K17. That just goes to show you how long it's been since we've done it. But today, you know, what the fuck? But today I was thinking to myself, pose the question, you know, with all the LeBrons that we've seen throughout the years, you know, I've been watching LeBron play since he was like a sophomore in high school. You know, he's had different levels here in the league. You know what I'm saying? He's been the young dude with promise. He's been the guy, you know, the best player in the planet. He's been the person that people have hated. He's been the person that people have loved. And uh, here today, I want to see if, you know, a team of five LeBrons could go 82 and 0. Now, first up, you know, they didn't have the rookie LeBron. This is the youngest LeBron they have in the game, and I did not want to create them to be unfair. So this is just a LeBron I got from the all-time Cavaliers roster. You know, 22 years old, uh, you know, 6'8", 240, nothing much has changed there. Then this LeBron here we got running the two will be the Miami Heat LeBron. You know, this is prime LeBron. This is the LeBron you know, when you look back, he was the bad guy. He was the good guy, but he was the guy that held it down and did what he had to do. And, you know, he won two championships in Miami. This LeBron right here is a 25-year-old LeBron, the 06, 07 LeBron. You know, the finals he went to where he got swept by the Spurs, where he first put everybody on notice. Power forward, we got the LeBron that came back to the Cavaliers after he left for the Heat. So a little bit post-prime LeBron. And then running the five, we're going to have the 34-year-old Lakers LeBron, current day LeBron, 91 overall. So you see we got a 95, and 98, and 99, 97, 91. Uh, the rest of the Cavs on the bench that we got left, they should not be seeing any minutes unless somebody fouls out, some foul trouble. We got injuries off, fatigue off. We want to see, you know, we want to see these LeBrons go to work, man, see what they can do. Now, this is the first of many uh, what-ifs and experiments that I want to do this season in NBA 2K. I definitely want to get back to that a lot. I doubt we go 82-0, but if we don't go 82-0, I definitely want to see if we can at least win an NBA championship. So we're going to go ahead and simulate to the All-Star break, see how they're doing halfway, see which LeBrons make the All-Star team, if any do at all. So we get the first win against the Orlando Magic. And this team with these five LeBrons, man, you know, they're not going to be the greatest but I feel like they can string together a good amount of wins. You know, you can't go, you can't be too wrong with a team of LeBrons, with LeBron on your team, period. You see here right now in the Eastern Conference, we're doing what we gotta do, beating teams by 50 points, 130 to 75. First Western Conference game, we get the W there. Now the Celtics should be a tough one, 134 to 117. This LeBron team is gonna be something special. Um, you see here right now we're eight and zero, and I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up a little bit. Oh, I said, actually, wow, hold on. As soon as I said I was going to speed it up, we lose by two to the Knicks. To a decimated Knicks squad, Marcus Morris went off for 27 on his, Dennis Smith 18, RJ Barrett had 15. Come over for the Cavs. Which LeBron is this? This is the 25 year old LeBron. He went, he went for triple double. Two LeBrons had triple doubles out here, and we lost. Two Le wow, two LeBrons had triple doubles, two LeBrons had double doubles, and this LeBron right here just had 27, eight, and nine. He almost had a triple double. That's ridiculous, bro. Like, how were they? Okay, you know what? Let's, let's move on. All right, guys, so our first question has pretty much been answered as we blow the Knicks out this time, 130-94. Looks like we will not go 82-0, and but I believe we can at least win 70-plus games, maybe even go 81-1, I'm not sure. You know, um... Some teams are going to have better nights than LeBron, uh, but for the most part, it looks like he's out here holding it down. Now, I'm thinking about giving this sim maybe one to three seasons. I'm not really too sure how I'm going to play yet because I do want to see, you know, um, if they'll be able to build on this season and whatnot. As you see there, we beat Giannis in the Bucks 157 to 121, beat the Magic 146 to 100. So we're beating team, beating the brakes off of teams, yet we lose to the Sixers by two. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? But you guys let me know if you were excited for this NBA season upcoming. Me personally, I'm very excited. This is going to be my first season as a season ticket. First year as a season ticket holder. I'm going to be, I'm a Hawks season ticket holder. So, you know, I'm going to be able to see LeBron come to Atlanta. I'm going to be able to see Steph Curry come to Atlanta, Kyrie, KD next year when he comes back. So, you know, as we pick up our second loss to the Bucks here, the Bucks get us at the, yo, Giannis went off for 33-11. Eric Bledsoe had a double-double. Middleton had 21 the LeBrons, we had a triple double, a double double, a double double, a double double, and uh, in the end, it looks like uh, actual team was just a little too much. Even Colin Sexton came in, you know, it helped out a little bit. But like I was saying about being a season ticket holder, you know, I am a diehard Bulls fan. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, I could have swore I turned injuries off, maybe. So like I was saying, um, I'm a season ticket holder this year. I'm a diehard Bulls fan, but I don't live in Chicago. I don't live anywhere near Chicago. And this is the main way, you know, for a cheap price to make sure I can see the Bulls play twice a year. As we're coming up playing the Hawks there, we beat them 112 to 84. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comment section below, who is your guys' favorite team? What players you feel as though is going to have a breakout year? What players you feel like might, you know, take a step back? What players you feel like might be a bust? Do you think Zion's going to win rookie of the year? Who do you think is going to win MVP? I feel like everything's wide open with, you know, no KD on the Warriors and Klay Thompson being hurt and KD being out. You know, the, the Nets are going to be good, but they're not going to be nearly as good as they that they can be when KD comes back. So, you know what I mean? It should be fun, but for once, in a while, I feel like we don't exactly know who will be coming up out of the West. Everybody wants to probably jump on and immediately say the Clippers, but you know, the Lakers are definitely going to be tough, but I'm, you know, teams like the Jazz and the Trailblazers and stuff like that, they even have more of a shot now, if you ask me. All right, boys, so we are at the halfway point, and we are 48 and six. Just recently lost to the Thunder. We lost two in a row to the Bulls and the Pistons. We lost to the Clippers. You know, um, lost to the Bucks, of course. Uh, all right, guys, so here's a look at the all-star roster. We got Team James, Team James Harden taking on Team LeBron. So on Team James Harden, we have two LeBrons in the starting lineup, as well as one coming off the bench. And then for Team LeBron, we have two LeBrons in that starting lineup. So all five LeBrons did make the all-star team. All right, so award races. <laughs> all five spots are being taken up by the LeBrons. Rookie of the year, Zion Williamson is leading DeAndre Hunter. Sixth man, D'Angelo Russell is leading DeMarcus Cousins, who's injured, who's not injured in this world. Defensive player of the year, the top three players are the LeBrons. Most improved, Van Fleet, followed by TJ McConnell. And then coming over here to stand, not standings, but, but coming over here to season stats, your leaders are uh, Giannis, Kyrie, Dame, Steph, James Harden, Zach Levine, one of the LeBrons, uh, the 20, what is that? Is that Miami Heat LeBron, of course. Uh, Devin Booker, then we got uh, young LeBron 23, and then we got another LeBron 26 years old. So, taking a look at uh, the full player stats for our squad, um, so we got LeBron averaging 27 in that 27.6, uh, 25.8, 25, 24, and 24.2. All three are doing their things. Uh, this LeBron is also flirting with a triple double every game. If you round up, he's averaging a triple double. This one is averaging nearly a double double. This one is 100% averaging a triple double, nearly a triple double for this one, and nearly a triple double for this one as well. So each LeBron is out here dishing the rock to himself, you know, getting the, getting all the points, getting all the seats, getting all the rebounds. You would think one would separate themselves from another, but for the most part, in true LeBron fashion, they are, you know, completely and the, you know, just straight up unselfish and wanting to look each other out. So we're gonna go ahead now and simulate the rest of the season and then uh, catch back up with you guys when we hit the playoffs. All right, boys, so we do fall well short of immortality. You see here, Miami Heat LeBron, number six LeBron, ends up winning MVP, averaging a triple-double, 27, 11, and 10.2 assists. Well, almost three steals a game, two blocks a game, shooting 56% from the field, 74% from the free throw line, and 41% 40, from the three-point line. Um, you know, so he wins MVP. Zion Williamson, of course, as expected, wins rookie of the year, averaging 21, 9, 3, a steal and a block, shooting 56% from the field and 33% from three. D'Angelo Russell wins sixth man of the year, averaging 23, 3, and 6 with a steal a game. Defensive player of the year, also Miami Heat LeBron. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, yeah, because he had three steals and two blocks a game. Most improved goes to Fred Van Fleet. Coach of the year goes to us. We do fall short of immortality and even the 70 win threshold. We're just 69 and 13 on the year, but we are the top seed in the playoffs, in the league, you know, in the division, everything you ask for. All NBA teams, four out of the five LeBrons make first team All NBA. Giannis is sprinkled in there. Second team All NBA. There's the fifth and final LeBron. Steph Curry, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and Cat made it. Third team All NBA. We got the Joker. We got Paul George. Donkic makes his first All NBA team. Kyrie and Chris Paul. All defensive team. We got three out of the four LeBrons on the first team, followed by Kawhi and Gobert. The other two LeBrons are here uh, um, on the second team with Eric Bledsoe, Victor Oladipo, and Giannis. All rookie team: Zion, Ja, DeAndre, uh, DeAndre Hunter, Jared Culver, 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 sorry, RJ Barrett, and in the second team, all rookie: Kobe White, Roy Hachimura, Cam Reddish, Michael Porter Jr., and Matisse Thybulle. So, quick look at the final league uh, standings. Uh, we were 20 games in front of the team, the next closest team. Sixers and, uh, and Celtics both finished 49 and 33. Bucks 48 and 34. The Bulls 47 and 35. Definitely didn't see that coming. On the Western Conference side, the Clippers are the lone 60 win team on the West. The Rockets are right behind them at 59 and 23. And the next closest team is 14 games back as the Blazers 46 and 36. And the Thunder surprisingly make the playoffs as the fourth seed. Season stats league leaders Giannis uh, ties with Kyrie for the league leader in points. Averaging 31 points a game. Uh, Steph Curry averages 30. Dame and Harden average 29, 28. Zach Levine averaged 27. Uh, here's two of the five LeBrons averaging 27 and 26, followed by Devin Booker and, uh, and Kawhi Leonard. Excuse me, I couldn't get that out. The LeBron stats, we had one average 27, one average 26, one average 25, and two average 24. Um, like I said, Miami Heat LeBron averaged a triple-double. Um, point guard, young LeBron, average, you know, flirted with a triple double. Average, oh, average, pretty much almost a double double. This LeBron averaged a double double. Oh, pretty, I'm a roundup. He averaged a triple double, and we round up with this LeBron. So we had three out of the five LeBrons average triple doubles. It doesn't get much better than that, man. That's pure dominance. Now we are the number one seed, and we will be taking on the eighth seeded Detroit. Pistons. Now we should be able to sweep our way through the finals, you know, the way we dominated through the regular season. But weirder things happen have happened in 2K. We've all seen it happen before as we do get the sweep on the Detroit Pistons here in the first round. All right, so the second round is set. We will be taking on Giannis in the fourth seeded Milwaukee Bucks. They bumped off the fifth seed uh, Bulls and the Sixers will be taking on the Nets in the second round. Remember, KD is not injured in this universe. Not yet, because the real rosters haven't come out yet. The Clippers move on to the second round against the Nuggets, and the OKC Thunder move ahead against the Warriors. So we're going to go ahead and assimilate this second round here. We may not sweep them because we did lose them uh, once or twice this season. Okay, we, we easily sweep Giannis <laughs> in, the, uh, in the Bucks. Wasn't even close. The Nets beat the Sixers in seven games. The Warriors beat the Thunder in seven games, and the Clippers beat the Nuggets in six games. Now it's time to simulate this current round. We will be taking on KD, uh, Kyrie, and the Nets. We're up 3-0, and it looks like it's going to be a clean sweep. And as the Clippers get a clean sweep against the Warriors as well. So this is the moment of truth. Go ahead and simulate this last round. Oh, we are not going to go 16-0. and Okay, tie ball game. And we end up going, woo, to game seven. And we lose in the finals to Kawhi Leonard and Paul George in the – in the Clippers, excuse me as I hit my mic. Wow, I did not see that coming. We came into the finals 12 and 0, and then we lose in seven to the Celtics. Kawhi is your finals MVP for the second straight year for his second straight team. He averaged 25.7 boards, three assists, three steals, and a block a game, shooting 53 and 45 percent from the field. These team of LeBrons in game seven lost by four. Um, no triple doubles, but we had a couple double doubles, and Kawhi didn't even play well. He averaged he had 15. Paul George shot like crap. And somehow we lost. Let's just take a look at it game by game. So game one, you know, we lost 117 to 1 to 109. LeBron's did their thing. Kawhi went for 30. Paul George only had 12, 4 for 17 shooting. Game two, LeBron's two 30 point performers. Uh, double double down here. We won that game by five. Kawhi 28. Paul George only had 16. Game three, the Clippers, Lou Will killed us for 38. Paul George had 25. 
Uh, the LeBrons here struggle a little bit. Nobody had 30. 126 to 117 was your final. Game four, we won that game by a blowout. This LeBron was his Miami Heat LeBron, MVP LeBron. Yes, he had 38, 8, and 8, followed by a 24, 7, and 4 performance. Then we had a triple double down here from point guard LeBron. Oh, it's not point guard LeBron. This is actually um, 2016 LeBron. He played power forward. And then for the Clippers, Kawhi went for 40, and we were able to get that W. Game five, we won by 30. Two LeBrons had 35 plus points, 23 and 11 and 8, 23 and 11 from 10. We had two triple doubles from LeBrons in this game that we won. You know, uh, Kawhi only had 17. Paul George, 22 points on 27 shots. Game six, we lost by seven. Kawhi had 33. Marte Marquez uh, Harrell went off on us. 36 from this LeBron. No, we had a double double down here. I guess it could have been worse. And in the game seven, we went over the stats. I, like I said, I cannot believe we lost this game. So. The five LeBrons, they can't go 82 and 0, and they also choke in the finals. I know there's a meme in there somewhere. I can't believe they were unable to get the job done, and that's going to be the end of the experiment here, guys. So the answer is no. Five LeBrons cannot go 82 and 0, nor can they win a championship in their first year, sweeping their way to the finals and then losing the seven games. You know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys have any more ideas for experiments and what ifs, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to get on those as soon as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.